Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tay. Today we're doing the Iron Spider uh, body paint. The Iron Spider is Spider-Man suit in Infinity War. Um, if you'd like to see how I did this, please keep watching. Everything I've used will be in the description box below, as well as the two reference photos I used. Um, thanks for watching! Using a lip pencil from NYX in the shade London, I'm just mapping out where the eyes are going to be. I made mine a weird shape, so if you're following a reference photo, just be careful of that. Next I'm mapping out the body part, I'm starting with the spider on the chest, and then I decided to map out where the blue parts of the suit are on the arms. It made everything much easier for spacing, but just be very careful and please have a photo in front of you when doing this. I found it was much easier, and basically you're just going to follow all the shapes in the photo. My photo is from the Iron Spider Wikipedia page, and I will have it linked in the description box below. I found that red is the color that I tend to have the most problems with opacity wise so I decided to start from there first and I'm starting on the middle section uh, towards the neck and just making sure that I go far enough back that you can't see my skin behind it and I started with a smaller brush to trace the edges and then I w would go back in later with a thicker brush. I also wanted to make sure that all the spots on the chest that were red were covered in right and I wanted to be very very careful that I didn't go over the lines that I had drawn and messed up the spacing of other sections. I also filled my face in red, leaving the spots for my eyes completely clean of paint. So I'm going through like I did with the red and I'm outlining the sections that are going to be blue first before I fill them in, starting with my left arm and the spider on my chest. And then once I moved up to the shapes that came off of the spider, I was kind of nervous about how I was going to do it. So I started by doing one section and then going to another because you can kind of see where the paint overlaps, which made it much easier to outline gold later on.
I had to fill in some of the bigger chunks of gold first before I did all the fine detailing, which is mostly just the two shoulder parts. Using a square shaped brush, just the tip of it, I'm holding it perpendicular to my skin and I'm just kind of pressing it and then moving it up to make a line without actually dragging because dragging makes the paint mix together. Whereas this line is kind of choppy at first, but you can kind of get what you want. And then later on, I took a smaller brush off camera and I put gold on it and then I dragged that up based on the choppy lines to kind of smooth everything out. I'm going to be very honest, I hate how the eyes came out, they came out really messy, but essentially what you're going to do is follow the outline with black and leave a big spot open to fill in later with white really close to your eyes. And then, I didn't have it on for long enough, but if you're going to wear something like this for a long period of time, please make sure that you set it with eyeshadow or some kind of powder. So I used a dark red mix very lightly with a black to make all the lines and I followed the picture to the best that I could but by following the picture because it wasn't straight on my face and my neck don't match up which you'll see soon. So if that really bothers you you can just disregard the face in the picture and make them line up but if you want to be really authentic to the picture they're not going to match up apparently. But for the face there's kind of a circle in between the two eyes the lines branching off of it. And then, personally, I think that there weren't enough lines on the mask there should have been, because it looks kind of weird. These V's didn't register what they are, but essentially in the picture, because he is the iron spider, there are two pieces of iron that are like away from the suit to give him room to move, and it didn't really come off like that, so you can disregard this section if you want. I would have if I had known how it was going to look, and basically this is the end of the video, so thanks for watching.